we're gonna make a video today hey how's everyone doing today bringing you guys another video it is going to be kind of a walk around on my daily driver and introducing to you guys my 2005 Honda Pilot this is my daily driver for when I'm not driving the Subaru and also to help me keep the miles down on the Subaru because I definitely do like to drive that car and I like to drive it a lot I'm not exactly sure what owner I am. I could be like the sixth, the seventh, the third. I'm not exactly sure. I purchased this vehicle when I was working at a Nissan dealership about two, three years ago, and uh, they came in on trade, and I offered them, I wanna say, I think I offered them about a thousand bucks for it, and they said, uh, will you do 1250? And I said, yeah, might as well. Doing all the documents and the licensing fees and all that, it probably came out to just under two thousand dollars about two hundred and thirty eight thousand miles on it it's a 2005 so it's about 15 years old does have some damage like you can see here a little bit of scuffs on the paint a little bit right there it looks like they actually hit something all the way down the side because we have a straight line that goes all the way down and then a little bit of fender damage here we also have a little bit more fender damage over here so i'm not exactly sure if they just really didn't know how to drive or they didn't know how to park even some right here on the quarter panel in my opinion i don't think it's worth fixing just because of what the car is actually worth but uh, it does have some nice michelin tires on it got those put on two seasons ago i want to say super good deal they had to go so we ended up getting them for a good price. We've done all the maintenance on it, uh, pretty much transmission, coolant, power steering, brake fluid, did all of those when I first bought it from the dealership that I was working at, and that was like a year and a half ago. And it's been a really, really good car. Haven't had to put a whole lot of money into it until recently. My wiper motor failed, so I came out one morning when there was ice, and I wasn't thinking, and the switch, I hit the switch, and it broke them loose and ended up actually frying the motor so got a new wiper motor put in there as well as new headlight bulbs and a couple bulbs in the rear because it was needing them that's one thing that i've learned about high mileage older vehicles is if at the end of the day and this is actually you can apply it to all your vehicles if you take care of them they're going to take care of you whether that be maintenance or an upgrade doing it the right way paying the right people to do it or just taking the right amount of time to do it right it's been a really good car to learn how to do maintenance and certain things on that you wouldn't normally get to do but because it is high miles and for what it's worth i'd rather me learn on it and mess it up rather than pay somebody to fix it and then it's still messed up so it's kind of a love-hate relationship when it comes to high mile vehicles like this but i am overall really happy with how it performs excuse how dirty it is under the hood but for 200 something thousand miles it's honestly really clean i haven't cleaned under the hood in quite a bit but I don't know if the previous owners have replaced anything as far as engine or transmission wise. I do know that there's a pretty notorious thing with these that the transmissions uh, are pretty crap eventually. But haven't had too many problems with them. But it is a, a 200 plus thousand mile beast. But it still goes and it starts up just as reliably as my Subaru. But it's probably because of that name right there. Just to give you guys kind of a look at the condition of the inside. For a 15 year old vehicle, don't mind my mess by any means. I have some seat covers on it. The seats are actually in really exceptional condition for how many miles are on this thing. Dash isn't really cracked. It actually looks really good on the inside for what it's worth. I haven't cleaned it in quite a while because, well, it is a daily driver and I'd rather spend my time cleaning the Subaru. But, got the back seat here. It does have the all-weather floor mats, which those really do help, especially this time of year. Not a whole lot of stains in the seats, which is super nice. Even the headliner, headliner isn't even that bad. I mean, I've seen some of these vehicles where it's like, oh my goodness. And being a detailer, I definitely pay attention to some stuff, but got the like-minded society banner on there, and uh, this is the back, and surprisingly enough, Pilot does have third row seating. So, it's pretty cool. It's nice for when I wanna have a bunch of friends go. Uh, usually we'll take it like, we'll all go frisbee golfing together, or we'll go on a hike, and so we'll usually just load up in this and uh, take it for a spin or up to the mountains and uh, take it on some dirt roads, which is really fun. It's nice being able to have an all-wheel drive or I guess four-wheel drive vehicle that you can take on basically any road you want. It's uh, honestly a really sweet car, 
super happy with it. I do not regret getting it. It's just one of those things where when you find a good car like that and it doesn't really require a whole lot of upkeep or money to keep it going, it's just so nice to have. But uh, do you guys have a daily driver? Do you have, you know, your performance car, your car that you drive only on the weekends or like after work? Or you only drive to work once a week and then you have a car like this that you can pretty much just kind of beat up, do whatever with, and not have to worry about it too much. Let me know down in the comments section, because I'm really interested to know, because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person, but I want to know if it's a pretty common thing for people, or if it's not. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button, and if you haven't seen my content before and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, and if you want to be notified whenever a video goes live, make sure to tap that bell icon. I'm going to get out of here. It's a little bit cold, even though it is a nice day. It is a little bit brisk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, and we will see you in the next video but I got two videos up on the screen right here if you guys want to check them out feel free or there is a link to subscribe if you want to click that too but anyways we'll see you in the next one